Hi guys, this is Teacher Cheska and this is Science 9, um, Day 5, Afternoon Session for 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. and we are using Module 5. Okay, so Lesson 2 is in, are all about environmental issues and concerns. So we have to begin by reading what I need to know and finding out what is your role in preserving the balance in the ecosystem. What can you do to prevent the destruction of our ecosystem and to conserve our natural resources and biodiversity? So here, um, this is a recall of our previous lesson for lesson one. We find out that in an ecosystem, biotic and abiotic factors are interdependent with one another. Kung mawala ang isa, apektado ang isa. Okay? So, then, we, let's continue to what's new. So, daghana changes, no? So, we will find out that daghan kaayo changes around us, no? So, your activity number one is entitled, My Home, My Community, My Environment. Here, you will identify different environmental problems in your community. Kasi mga problema sa inyong komunidad, sa environment. And, unsa uh, effects, say resulta anat ng mga problema. So, what you will do is you copy this table and you put a check mark no? under the yes and no statement kung asa dini ang makita sa imong komunidad. So, for example, burning of garbage is present everywhere. Nabay galapog, permi. If it, the answer is yes, you put a check mark here. If the answer is no, put a check mark there. Okay? So, those are, there are 15 statements. So, yes and no lang na siya. And then, in number 2, based on the evaluation, no, tanawo ni mo, sa imo mga gi-check, li, uh, list down at least 3 environmental problems in your community. And, and say, Epekto, ani na mga problema sa ecosystem. What are the effects, no, of these problems on the ecosystem? Okay, then let's continue to what is it. So, here, we find out about different environmental issues and concerns. So, ecological balance happens when there is a disturbance which is either natural or man-made that disrupts the balance of an ecosystem. So, mahitabo, ang tawag din, Ana, ecological imbalance. So, unsa may mga butang na makadisturbo sa ecosystem. So, here are some examples. You have pollution, of course. This is very familiar to you. Pirmi na nato ni siya ma- no, mas turiyahan and you can see this no around you makita ni mo ni so you have pollution like air pollution and some of the effects of air pollution is acid rain air pollution by the way is can be both man made and natural activities so for example man made ang um, mga factories burning of plastics Natural activities, for example, na volcanic ashes, so pagbuto sa, sa kabulkan. Okay? So, those can become air pollutants. Also, aside from air pollution, you have water pollution. Diba? So, water pollution is because of different um, domestic and industrial wastes. So, gikan sa atong mga balay, apil po sa mga factories. So, once ma-pollute na ang water, it is no longer safe for drinking or swimming. And this will affect, no? Affect the animals living in the nearby um, areas. So, when this happens, this is called eutrophication. When it affects the aquatic animals. So, water quality and clar clarity will be affected. Tawag ana, eutrophication. Deforestation, of course, this happens when forests are cleared to make the land available for other purposes. Karon dini sa atong area sa Cagayan de Oro, kita na to, 
daghan na kay bago mga subdivisions. Pero wala lang takabalo sa una, forest na siya. And they had to clear it. They had to remove all the trees there. And of course, um, sometimes, diya bito doon sa eskwelahan, makita ni mo sa bukid, na ay ga sunog, that is what we call the kaingin system. So, mga farmers, they want to burn, no? Burn the area na ilang gamiton para dito sila magtanom. However, kung dili nila na makontrol, maoday na siya magka-forest fire dayon ta, which is bad. Wildflower depletion, so ang wildlife depletion naman, this is um, hunting and trapping, taking animals for profit, killing them, and destroying their habitats. So this is also not good. Okay? So, wildlife, kagaya like we talk about earlier, mga threatened na ng mga species or endangered species, part na siya sa atong wildlife. Maunang, kung madumduman ninyo, kanabitong, ingon silag, um, what is that, kanang snake bitaw na, um, ako kaayo, um, what is it, uh, all done. Alright, sorry about that. So, um, kadumdum ko na naagi ka ng mga duol man ta sa ano di ba duol man ta sa creek duol pud ta sa um, kagubatan here in Penroa na tay mga halas or bitin yung rag anaconda bitaw okay actually um, the department of environment and natural resources have already said that those are wildlife creatures na dili dapat dakpon no kumabuan bitaw na nagdak nagdakop ka or di mo nang gikip sa cage kay um, you will be fine no um dakpon pud ka sa DNR and then magbayad ka og dako na kwarta because those animals are part of our wildlife so dili na to siya pwede kilabtan you cannot sell them no apil nang toko mantingali i think no apil ang toko or dili siya allowed na dakpon o ikip as a pet bayawak. or ayun oh, bayawak, hindi pwede okay. so those are the things and besides in, in relation to ano, uh, wildlife mo pud na siya actually the one good lugar the, the theory that they say gikan sa China was because of the bats nagidakop no? diba? yung mga paniki nagidakop and then they sell them in the market and so the coronavirus happened so it's like that. All right. So moving on, destruction of coastal resources is also another um, problem that we have in the environment. Okay, I think over harvesting or overfishing, pag sobraan bitaw. So sa una, di kabalo magita no, kung mag kung mag mangingis data yo, kailangan yung maliliit na isda yung mga baby pa na fish ibalik nato siya sa ocean. Okay pag may paman sila padakoon sa ipadaghan sa ana pero still because nga of the demand no um daghan gadagan ng populasyon sa tao daghan nga pangitag pagkaon so bahala gag may pa kay ato na nang gai-harvest or gay overfish so which is not good and the different methods which are illegal already by now are dynamite fishing cyanide fishing and muroami fishing so those are already illegal okay let's continue then you have to do activity number two so what's more at the end of this activity you are expected to explain explain the importance of environmental conservation and you shall do so by um, imagining yourself so imagine mo na ikaw ang mayor sa isa ka syudad o na mga questions dani na imong answeran so again 3 to 5 sentences or 1 to 3 sentences okay ra kayo so you read this first and then you answer the following questions after doing that uh, in here by the way you don't need to copy this no you can just answer directly so just go answer here letter A so don't ayaw na ikopya ang story or ang situation here sa inyong yellow pad paper. Answer na lang directly. Now, after doing that, go to activity 3, 
let's factor it out. Um, at the end of this activity, you are expected to identify the factors disrupting ecological balance and provide solutions. Okay. So, you complete the fishbone diagram. So, kani siya noon copy and answer. Okay. And the factors are found inside the box. Pero part of it, ilan na ning gi ansiran. So, ikaw na lang na mag-fill up ani. Okay? So, kayang-kaya yan. Provide at least one solution for each problem. Okay. One solution, write it down. So, and then answer the guide questions. Pagkaw man ani, you go directly to summary. You read the summary. Basahon tanan. Very important. And then you answer your post test. Okay? So again, 1, 2, 15, capital letters only, answers only or answer directly. So that's it for the afternoon session of day 5 in Science 9. We're using module 5. Thank you so much and bye!